Hi, I'm Greg Hurrell. This is another Vim screencast. Uh, I've done three about splits now. I'm going to round it off with a very short one on tabs. Short because I tend not to use tabs that much. I can generally get what I want to do with the workflows that I've already shown you. So I'm going to open a few splits as usual to show what a typical workflow is like. Um, and let's say that I've, I've come to a point where I realize that some of the items that I've got open in splits are not thematic re thematically related to all the other splits. And there's something that I might want to consult occasionally, but I don't actually need to have it visually on screen at all times, taking up real estate. I might want to actually pull it out and put it in another tab. So I would do that with Control W Shift T. Now it's in another tab. I can use GT to go to the next tab. I can just cycle through. Um, and let's pull something else out. Put it in the tab. <coughs> Pardon me. Just so I realize this config file also really deserves to be in a tab of its own. Now I've got three tabs. And you can see the direction of the cycle as I do GT. You can also see that when I do G Shift T, I reverse the direction of the cycle. Because I tend not to use tabs very much, the cycle is so short that it doesn't matter if I go forward or back, the distance to wherever I want to go is probably one or two jumps. So it almost doesn't matter. But if you used tabs more heavily, then it could potentially matter to you which one you used. Another way to get to a new tab is to use colon tab E, which is short for tab edit. Um, you can give it a file name if you want, or you can just get a blank file. Maybe you want to take some notes um, with colon tab E. Uh, and finally, uh, it's worth noting that a lot of applications or plugins have their own way to open things in tabs. Um, and so one that I've already alluded to is that Command T can do that, but most fuzzy finders can do things like this. Uh, so for example, just say I'm looking at a file and I want to get my all the bars or whatever. Oops, that one, Control T, opens it in a new tab. So that's really uh, all I have to say about the, the core subject of tabs. But as a little extension topic, if you are a Command T user, it is useful to be able to select a file that you want opened and have Command T jump to it in a tab where it already exists rather than opening it in a tab you're looking at right now. So with the current example here, I'm trying to open ansible.config, but that's open in another tab. When I hit enter, it goes to the tab. The reason why that actually works is because I have some custom code for that, uh, which I'll show you now. Yeah, go to or open is the one. So effectively, I've created this go to or open command here that calls my go to or open function. And then I've told command T that when I accept a selection, it should, instead of just calling E for edit or tab E for tab edit, it should call my go to or open function. So what does this thing do? Basically, it looks through the list of buffers in each tab to see if such a thing already exists. And if it does, then it's going to try opening it using the so-called SB command, which if I recall correctly, stands for switch buffer. Yeah, S buffer. So split the window and it in a buffer. And because switch buffer is set, it's going to try to do it it's going to try to open a tab version of the thing rather than creating a split. So you could certainly configure something like this if you wanted the behavior that I just showed. So that's all I got on tabs for now. Um, next up, haven't decided yet, but tune in and I'm, I'll have something interesting to say.